history and our mission. We should dream big. Our dream is to see every community in the country transformed. We believe marriage and family are the foundation. We'd love to see coffee houses as sort of an on-ramp, welcoming, warm, engaging, without explicitly necessarily Christian, uh, and the explicitly, but people would get that by the warmth, and then they would be invited through our various programs we've been doing to men's events, women's events, family events. It's a nonprofit. Our price tag is about a million dollars for the first instantiation. It would be self-sustaining. And again, just to create warmth and connection among people. So Alfred called me. I've known him for over three decades. I was in his wedding. He was in mine. He says, I've got a great opportunity for you here. It involves really forensic accounting, understanding the tax structuring over the last couple of years and businesses that may think they've benefited from this um, we find very often that they haven't really done a deep dive and we have expertise in that area. We do a free look under the hood and uh, we take 15% straight up. We take 15%. And so after they've done their accounting and everything else, we want to look at their books if they're willing to and for that amount of money. Um, so our hope is we would get as an organization, we get 2% of that 15%. So we want to bless you to receive the resources that might be available to you. Number two, we benefit, of course, by that two of the 15%, including that 15% that might help us realize this vision, this mission of seeing families built with this property as sort of a catalyst. So um, Alfred is a good friend. I trust him thoroughly. I got Walt Erickson on the phone. He's on our board. He's an awesome husband, father of seven kids. He runs a company, 40 employees. He's done a lot of this forensic stuff. He's looked with a microscope a little bit and had people involved. I got him on the phone. A couple instantiations later, I hand the baton off to you, Walt. Your story. So I'm Walt Erickson. I'm at Interstate Commercial Glass and Door. Uh, what Alfred's group taught me uh, when I got on the phone with them was I actually did qualify for employee retention credit in 2020. I did not know that. My accountant did not know that. Um, and it was fairly substantial. I mean, uh, completely worthwhile going through the process. And so I, I highly, highly recommend if you have not received employee retention credit for 2020 or 2021, you definitely want to listen to what Alfred has to say and have someone review that. Because again, our regular controllers, right? Our regular accountants, um, they're, you know, no, no shame to them. They're not forensic auditors, right? And how can they possibly keep track of everything that's going on um, as, as these rules and regulations continue to change? So that was the first thing. Um, the second thing is I'll say your income tax deep dive. Um, I have already used, been using a company it's not a company that Alfred um, represents, but actually the company that Alfred represents um, actually has a much better rate than the company that I use. So I will in 2022 switch over to the company that, that Alfred represents. But what they did um, and what they do is they do a deep dive into every single legal government write-off. And it is lengthy, it is detailed. Um, you do get asked a fair amount of questions. I had this company review 18 and 19, and they were good years for us. And we got about 28% of the taxes that we paid back. And the check comes from the IRS, literally comes from the IRS. I never knew of this. Um, we were doing math. Uh, if we would have done this from the day my dad started the company, we would have about $1.8 million back in our pockets that we paid in taxes over that time. It's um, unbelievable. If you've never heard of it or say, my controller is really good, my accountant's really good, I think I've done that, I, I, it's free to have them look and it's, it's completely legit. And I'm telling you, I was shocked. And then when I got my checks, I'm like, oh, this is like actually legit. This is for real. Um, and then the last thing um, that some of you may have heard um, this, this term before, but it's cost segregation, okay? A lot of developers use it. Um, it's, it's common when, when folks own, you know, two, three, four, five buildings, even one uh, commercial building. Um, what is cost segregation? Well, Alfred and his team will be able to give you more detail, but in essence, this is what it is. Rather than, let's say you buy a million dollar building, or right? you have a physical asset and you buy a million dollar building, a traditional depreciation says 
you depreciate that building over 39 and a half years, right? So $25,000 a year, right? So if you make $100,000 profit each year, you get to write 25 grand off for depreciation and pay taxes on 75, right? Very simple. Pretty much everybody knows that. What this cost segregation is allowing you to do is bonus or pull forward multiple items that are specific within a building, carpet, lighting, um, parking lots. So uh, what they'll do is they'll come in and I've already hired Alfred's team um, to do cost segregation on uh, my one personal property and our business property. Um, and so it just so happens our business property we bought two years ago for about $900,000. And we get to pull here in 2022 about 285,000 of depreciation forward in the first year. So what does that mean? What that means is, let's just say you had a profit of $300,000. I'm now only paying taxes on 15 grand. They have a $285,000 write-off. So put a different way, uh, you're not paying 40% taxes on that $285,000 and you're getting your money much earlier, much sooner. So, um, and let's just say you have $285,000 of depreciation, but you only made $100,000 profit. Well, then you use a hundred grand of that depreciation this year, and then you get to use the rest next year. So, um, and, what, and that isn't a 15%. What they do there is they actually have an engineer come out. Um, uh, it was $6,500, I think, for my building, and it was $5,000 for my personal property. They're going to come out in July and do both. So it's going to take 1,000 pictures. Um, and then they're going to do all the paperwork and give your accountant or your controller the paperwork um, that you, get, you, know, you can turn in at year end for that depreciation. And so um, it's a one-time fee, right? There's, there's nothing more. They don't, you know, not getting 15% of anything. That one's, that one's different, if you will, than the ERC or the deep dive on the uh, tax return. But uh, again, extremely, extremely beneficial, extremely beneficial. I had heard of cost segregation multiple times. Even if you have a personal property that's set up as an LLC, you can use it for cost segregation. So for example, some of these folks that have, you know, these really high end, you know, second homes and so forth, um, they're getting 25, 30% of their, of their purchase price in depreciation the first year. Um, and then it's a, uh, the, the current cost irrigation rules are starting to, to wear down. So uh, right now you get hundred percent, next year you get 80, then 60, then 40, then 20, then nothing. It probably needs to be something that's valued at 400,000 or more. But here's the other thing. Like if you don't, if you own a, if you've owned your building for 15 years, it's less advantageous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now with that being said, what people will do is they'll actually go and refinance their building to take advantage of it mm -hmm. because it's based on your, your current, um, it's based on what you purchased. Okay. But if you're 15 years in or 20 years in, on a million dollar building, then you're gonna get, let's say instead of 285, you're gonna get 140, right? Cause you've depreciated about half that building already. You would put your personal home or a personal place in an LLC and then that LLC has to actually make money for you to have something to write off, mm -hmm. okay? So what that means is, is that uh, like if it was your personal home, you would go ahead and, you know, pay pay that llc three thousand dollars a month you know from terry right and then you've got thirty six thousand in there that you can write off each year um i've literally done this stuff right or i'm in the process of doing it like i've literally uh you know gotten a few of the checks back right i like it's completely 100 percent legal and legit and um some of these things like i said are just People just don't know. I mean, I, two years ago, I knew, no, I knew nothing about cost segregation or anything, you know, or tax deep dive. Like I had no idea even existed. And, um, and now I do and realizing, wow, this is like really advantageous and it's totally legal. Um, so I highly recommend that you guys, um, like I said, 
you know, spend the time to do a couple, you know, a couple phone conversations with Alfred's team and do it because it's super helpful. <laughs>